Hey guys, Aaron Johnson here at Action Water Sports. So a myth that we hear quite often is that you can't get a great surf wave behind a boat that doesn't cost 100 grand or more. That is completely false. Today we're going to help bust that myth by showing you how to achieve an awesome surf wave with boats in three different price ranges. We'll start under 30,000, then we'll go between 30 and 60,000, and then we'll go between 60,000 and 100,000. Let's start off with our first boat, a 93 Mastercraft Pro Star 205. This is a direct drive ski boat designed specifically for water skiing and we're going to show you how to surf behind it. Let's take a look. All right guys, we're going to start here this morning with Mitch Heisen. Mitch is one of our instructors here at Action Water Sports. Mitch, tell us what you've got here and, and why this works and how we use it. Yeah, so here I have a wake shaping device. This one is the Mission. It goes on a boat that you would not necessarily surf behind, but it creates a cleaner wave that makes you able to wake surf behind the boat then. And so where do we want to put this, uh, where do we want to attach this to the boat? Yeah, I see you got some, you got some suction cups here. On this boat, we're gonna mount it about right here on a flat surface to where the suction cups hold. And then you push the levers on and you're ready to go. Okay. We're putting it on this side of the boat. That's gonna actually clean up the wave over here. Yep, right? so you so. wanna add the shaper to the opposite side that the rider's on. Okay. Hey guys, we got the boat out on the water now. We're gonna show you what the wave looks like without the wake shaper and without any ballast filled. this other 500 pound bag right on top of that to add a little bit more weight and make a bigger wave. We're gonna keep it evenly weighted with putting the bag right in the center of the boat in the back. Now that we have the wake shaper installed, both ballast bags filled up and the boat evenly weighted, we're ready to surf. Okay, now that you know how to wake surf with a vintage direct drive boat, let's jump up to the $30,000 to $60,000 range. This next boat is a 2012 Mastercraft X15 featuring the Gen 1 surf system. All right guys, so that wave that you just saw was with all, uh, all the factory hard tanks full and the soft bags full in the back. Next step, we're gonna put a wake shaper on. We'll show you what that wave looks like just in a minute. As you can see, by adding extra weight and a wake shaping device, you can fine tune your built-in surf system even more. With older boats, it's also a good idea to move passengers around on your boat to find the best weight distribution for the best possible surf wave. Let's finish up with our final price range of 60,000 to 100,000. For this, we'll choose to go with the all new 2020 Mastercraft NXT20. So moving into this price range, you'll find boats with fully automated surf systems. With Mastercraft Gen 2, dialing in your favorite wave is as easy as pushing a button. After you select your side and surf profile, the ballast tanks will automatically fill, the tabs will adjust, and your cruise control will be set to within a tenth of a mile. Hopefully this helps you to understand that you don't need to spend $100,000 or more on a boat to create a great surfing experience for you and your family. With ballast bags, a wake shaping device, and a bit of ingenuity, it's possible to surf behind almost any inboard in any price range. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact your local Action Water Sports. Also, please check out our learning center at actionwater.com for more helpful information. Thanks again, guys. Hope to see you on the water.